Hello friends, it's Miss Nicole here with a toddler story time. Um, and this story time is on animals that fly. Could you guys think of any animals that fly? I'll wait while you think. I imagine quite a few of you maybe said dogs, right? Do dogs fly? Yeah, right? No? No? Okay, all right, not dogs. Um, pigs fly, right? I've heard that. No? Pigs don't fly. Oh my goodness, what's happening to me? Birds? Birds fly, right? Yes, birds fly, right? Awesome. And what's that other animal that flies? Can anybody tell me? There's one more animal I could think of that flies, and it's not a bug, and it's not an insect. And it's not a flying squirrel. I wish we had stories on flying squirrels. Uh, what about bats? Bats fly, right? They fly at night. So, we're actually going to go ahead and read a few stories on birds. I had some trouble finding anything on bats, but we have plenty of bird material. So if you guys are all set, I want you guys to give me a quack quack and a tweet tweet, okay? And we're going to go ahead and get started with our first story. It's called, Look, Birds! I love this story. I think the pictures are beautiful. This is by Stephanie Kalmanson, and it's illustrated by Pui Pinalos. I'm sorry if I got that last name wrong. I'm not so good at pronouncing things. All right, here we go. Look, birds. Look, birds. What a beautiful sight. They put on a show from morning through night. The red-breasted robin likes to dig, dig, dig. He's looking for a worm that's big, big, big. Hup, little sparrows, getting clean is a must. One bathes in water, the other in dust. The tiny hummingbird hovers over a flower. Her wings beat so fast they hum from their power. Largest of the large, fastest of the fast. Look at that ostrich go zooming past. Listen for the meadow lark in a treetop. He whistles so sweetly you won't want him to stop. Everybody give me a whistle with a <whistles> if you can. With no education, a parrot will squawk, but if you patiently teach him, he'll learn to talk. Everybody say squawk. Pretzels in the park. Here the pigeons come looking for crumbs. Peck, peck, yum. Quack, quack, six ducks in a line. Mama's in front with five ducklings behind. Penguins can't fly. It's not what they do, but with wings like flippers, they swim faster than you. When flamingos are young, they are gray or white, but when they grow up, some turn pink. What a sight! A pelican's a seabird, and this is his wish, to fill his pouch with freshly caught fish. This tick bird has found a good place to eat. A giraffe's neck has insects that are a tasty treat. The male peacock's feathers make a colorful fan, while his partner's feathers are mostly tan. That's brown. This toucan's beak is the most colorful I've seen. It's red. Yellow, blue, orange, and green. Look at all that green. Rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat. -tat -tat. Woodpeckers make holes like that a tat-tat. Who's at the feeder eating upside down? It's a sweet little chickadee with a jet black crown. That means a jet black head. He's hanging upside down. Crows like to gather one, two, three, four. Caw, 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 caw. They're calling for more. The owl hunts for food. He's a bird of the night. When the sky is dark, he silently takes flight. And here we are with some of the birdies. We've got a goldfinch, 
I'm sure you've seen blue jays in your yard, canaries, and that's a hoopo. I've never seen one of those before. Birds help plants and flowers grow by moving seeds and pollen, and they eat insects and rodents that may harm plants or people. Some provide food for other living things. Birds make us happy as we watch, listen, and learn all about them. And there we also have some more birds. We've got a bluebird right there. We have a cardinal. This is called a crane. You might remember that because it kind of looks like it has a crown. We have a flame robin. That means it's got a red belly like a flame. We have a kingfisher, a magpie, and a parakeet. How cool is that? Alright, so that was Look Birds. I love that story. I think that's really fun. Alright, so then we're going to read a story called Splish Splash Ducky. And this is by Lucy Cousins. I love her books. They're wonderful. Here we go. Hello, I am Ducky Ducklin. When I'm feeling happy, I say quack, quack, quack. Can everybody give me a quack, quack, quack? Good job. Oh, goody, hooray, it's, excuse me, it's raining today. I'm going to find my friends to play. Everybody give me a quack, quack, quack. Drip, drip, drop, I hop with frog. Quack, quack, quack. I like to squirm with the wriggly worm, everybody wriggly worm. Quack, quack, quack. A hug for bug and a hug for slug. Into the pond to play with the swans. Give me a quack, quack, quack. Splish, splash, I swim with the fish. With a quack, quack, quack. Good job, guys. We shake our feathers in the rainy weather with a quack, quack, quack. Good job. Drip, drop, flip, flop, rain is funny on your tummy. Everybody give me a quack, quack, quack. Good job. Squeak, squeak, hide and seek. Ducky says, quack, quack, quack. Oh no, the rain has stopped. No more drips, no more drops, no more quacking. I'm feeling sad. I think I'll go see my dad. Cheer up, Ducky. Here comes the sun. Look at the butterflies having fun. Look at all those beautiful butterflies. They fly too, right? They're an animal that flies. They're more of an insect though, right? We'll quack together, whatever the weather. Hop on my back and quack, quack, quack. How nice is that story? Look at them. They're floating though. They're not flying, huh? So there are some birds that don't fly quite as much, huh? Can you guys think of any birds that don't fly as much? Any ideas at all? Have you ever seen those animals that live on the snow and the ice in Antarctica? What could that be? Is that a penguin? Yeah, penguins are known as flightless birds. They don't really fly at all, but they're still a bird, right? And then we have... Who else do we have? What about chickens? Do they fly a lot? They fly a little, right? But not a ton. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a song, okay? And I will be right back to sing along. Does it sound good? All right. All right, guys, are we ready for our little song rhyme about bats? Bats fly, right? Yeah, bats are those really black, those little black and brown creatures that we see flying around at night sometimes, right? Yeah, and we might see them around Halloween on decorations, right? I think bats are super cool, and they're really misunderstood. But I think they're probably pretty cool creatures, right? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do a song rhyme called Five Little Bats. So I want everybody to hold up one hand 
And that gives me five fingers, right? All right, so we're gonna start with five and then we're gonna go down to four. All right, here we go. Five little bats came flying in the door. One flew away and that left four. Four little bats hiding in a tree. One flew away and that left three. Three little bats looking down at you. One flew away and that left two. Two little bats hiding from the sun. One flew away and that left one. One little bat hanging all alone. He flew away and then there were none. So we started with five and ended up with none. Zero. A big fat zero. All the bats flew away. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Go ahead and feel free to rewind. That was about a minute and 30 seconds. Go ahead and rewind. And you can pause it so you can hear it again. And then you can learn it. All right? So you might, your bats might fly away like this. They might fly away wonky like this. Or you might fly away like this real fast, kind of like a butterfly or a bird, right? Or maybe like this. All right, get fancy with the way your bats fly away, okay? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed our Things That Fly story time. And we'll see you real soon with our next story time. Bye.